What's up guys this is Rani welcome back to our channel Total Technology this is tutorial 12 and today's topic will be how how to set account expiration date on active active directory so this is going to be very interesting tutorial guys cause i think all of you are uh, right now familiar with the account expiration or date, date related attributes cause in the last tutorial which is tutorial 11 we have already seen how how actually how to get the account expiration date from active directory and when you're talking about account expiration dates so all the date time related attributes fetching and updating will be same so i'll be going to do only with account expiration date so probably you can take it as an exercise to how or when user can uh, when user uh, did set his password last time you can um, get those attribute as well from active directory using the same method so let me go to the next slide uh, so what is account expiration date so if you are using from active directory console you will get something like that from the general account tab so uh, it dates is uh, this date is highlighted it means on this date the user account will be deactivated automatically from the active directory internal uh, mechanism so i'm not going to explain or discuss all these things but rather i'll assume that all of you are familiar with this account disablement and enablement cause most of you are already working as an active directory administrator or system administrator or probably working on some cyber security domain mostly on identity and access management so for them it is very general and unique thing but uh, i'm not going to talk about those active directory animal elements and fundamental things but rather um, if you guys are interested i can uh, i will happily create some new tutorial, tutorial on active directory or identity and access management but rather i'll assume that all of you are familiar with those things okay so i'm just giving you some sort of automation where you can use this python uh, tricks to uh, make your job more uh, fun oriented uh, 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 effective and probably you can uh, get some uh, recognition and visibility within your organization so let's move on to the next slide so internally this value is like this so this is an 18, 18 digit integer so you can call it as an integer but rather it is a windows file time format so internally windows file time format will be converted like this so when you are going to set something uh, in active directory in the date uh, time uh, like kind of, of attribute you have to uh, send value in this format then active directory will parse this value and update this in the date time format so if you're going to send like normal username uh, sorry normal uh, mmddyy or yaddmm format it will not going to update anything okay so that's it guys so let's move on to the next slide which is the actual part of coding so let me open my remote desktop so this is tutorial 12 so let it be uh, okay so it's ready now so i will put tutorial 12 and after that we'll put how to set account expiration date in ad user account okay so next thing will be import so so from PyAD import star and from um, we'll import date time. Let's import date time. We'll probably use this thing. Okay. So first thing first, we'll create an user object. So for that, we all know PyAD dot AD object dot uh, AD object and then from CN. Okay. So we'll be going to work on this attribute or this object okay so let's take it and like this so let's check if everything is fine if terminated okay so we got this object so now we're going to upload this object attribute so what i'll do uh, pi ad dot ad object dot ad object dot update attribute so self means this user then the attribute name so attribute name is let me check attribute name is account expires so probably you can take it from here so right now the value is uh, 2022 third march okay so if you open this thing um, sorry 2022 february 28 okay so this is the value like this okay mm -hmm. so so what i'll do i'll try to um now i'll try to change this value okay 
so 2025 so if you write something like this 2025 03 10 it will not happen let's try this thing so let's open this thing and account see it got this thing january 1601 cause the the file time format should be always in 18 digit and it is always calculating from uh, some value from this value there is something there in the google just try to find uh, windows uh, file time format so we'll get everything so we need to convert our uh, actual uh, date so this is date time format we need to convert our date time format into file time format so for converting that thing there are multiple uh, like uh, utilities are available so i am using this utilities its name is file times i've already imported here so you can get it even from the github so this is written by this gentleman david buxton in 2008 2009 so i'm using this thing so i'll again send you the uh, github uh, link for this thing but again as i'm going to upload the whole repository you will easily get this thing as a portable uh, kind of a thing so i will import that so from file times import uh, dt to file time and we'll import utc okay and we'll expiration date kind of this okay so now I will all together take this thing here. Um, no, it will be like this here, but rather we'll change it here, ED only, okay? And ED will be, we need to convert that. So we'll use this DT uh, underscore file time and DT means our date time object. So it will be date time dot date time. And inside that we need to pass our date time so it will be 2025 then month will be let's say april and day will be 10th sorry uh, 10th may and time will be 00, 00 or probably let's say time will be 11 okay and we'll use uh, time zone info is equals to utc okay so now if i run this thing we'll get one more error okay i'll explain this thing why you are getting some error so now we'll get this error in this line okay so let's run this thing see i'm getting this error some string or something related error we are getting the error here actually okay so now we are getting the error here actually uh, this is actually the com value but we need a string value so what we have to do we have to just make it a string okay so this is 2025 see let's check the value uh, it is still 1601 okay so let me run this thing now so it's completed no error so let me open this thing by refreshing so this is the user let's go here see 2025 9th may okay uh, 2025 9th May so there is a one day delay uh, due to this UT, uh, UTC time zone that is why it is like that but again this means the user account will be um, deactivated at 1110 but here if you see the time let's open this thing okay see so it is on Friday uh, end of end of Friday means end of Friday means automatically it is uh, 10th okay end of friday means automatically then but we can do something else uh, we can make it like this so let's see this thing again okay and we'll see it from here see uh, western european time zone 2025 10th may at 2 pm so what is the time here so it's 12 o'clock so that the thing is that we have a time difference here 5 12 and the time zone for this thing the time is actually not taking uh, actual time but if you do not provide any time zone info let's try this thing let's see what is happening now if you don't provide any time zone info so i think so by default it is taking uh, some time okay see it is taking this time okay 2 p.m so we'll we'll see let's make it 11 and don't put any time over here okay 
so it's 1100 should be so let's check it it's not getting refreshed okay see so it's 2 am european standard time okay so our uh, like objective is pretty much completed so whatever we're trying to achieve it is happening so end of 10 is automatically like uh, uh, this thing okay so account will be expired on that day main end of that day okay uh, means uh, 11th may 12 o'clock means 10th may end of the day right so that that is what it is saying okay so i i believe guys uh, this is very interesting so you guys can try to apply the same thing for some other date time related attribute just for updating some other thing for example uh, last logon uh, date if you want to find last logon last logon timestamp but these attributes are not uh, writable if you, you cannot write something if you write something it is doesn't make any sense because user when uh, logged in in the last time that should be there but if you're manipulating this thing that doesn't make any sense okay so you have to read from those type of attribute and this is going to be very important those are working in some sort of like security or uh, like um, some seek or a uh, seam or sock uh, related uh, jobs for them it is very uh, important to understand the user login hours when user logged in last time and for that time if you're working in some sort of security operation center like sock or any other there you have to parse those deeds this type of data and after that you need to create some sort of incident report or uh, root cause analysis for all the different types of threats and alerts so if you know this python tricks then it will be easier for you to update up, uh, sorry update or get or some uh, applying some sort of analysis so that is why i'm just creating this tutorial hopefully those are working on this identity access management cyber security or, or active directory or rather uh, 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 like support team mostly in the security operation for them it will be very easy, easy to understand so this tutorial is very specific for all all guys those are working in the cyber security uh, areas of cyber security and if someone is not working in active directory or cyber security don't try to learn these things because you can learn this thing again but you will not be able to apply those things because this is very much industry specific and the, there is no point of learning this thing if you're not going to apply those things okay so this is one uh, recommendation so these tutorials are very specific those are working in this area can only apply and learn these things okay so that's it guys i will try to uh, let me first copy this thing the code okay okay let me quickly copy the code okay so i'll upload the code and github repository as well as a separate uh, like resource don't worry and we will be able to practice okay so just take an example or exercise try to uh, get some uh, uh, try to update uh, apply the same thing to get the user last uh, login time okay and last password last change date something like that okay so we'll see you guys in the next video till then take care goodbye and uh, be safe don't uh, go outside right now in, uh, in germany so the situation is very bad i'm actually locked out uh, in my room uh, not able to go outside the situation is very uh, difficult now i'm not sure whether we'll survive or whether we'll die let's see hope for the best and keep watching our videos keep subscribing to our channel and thank you very much for all udemy students for purchasing my course it's actually motivating me a lot and i'll try to uh, improve my qualities and we'll come up with uh, many other courses as well in meanwhile if you're having any doubt clarification question you can feel free to uh, write me i'll always there in udemy instructor uh, like message box i'll always uh, try to answer your question as much as possible with the given timeline so don't hesitate write me and for the youtube folks if you have any doubt question or if you want us to include some other tutorial please feel free to write me you can write me over uh, comment box or whatever so that's it and try to uh, subscribe to our channel hit the like button hit the bell icon so that you should not miss any notification from the next time and if possible try to share our videos with your family friends whoever you think is relevant for the topic so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice